Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to calculate the volume of a coke bottle. First, we found a straight on image of a coke bottle in order to have a truthful representation of its outline. Then we continued by dropping the image in Desmos and setting its preferences so that its dimensions are the same as in the real world. Afterwards, we started by setting the limits in which we will analyze the bottle. Then, we started outlining the bottle with graphs, playing with the parameters inside the equation to transform slightly such equation. Our first equation was a sinusoidal function, in order to outline from the base to the label of the bottle. The parameters that we used altered the amplitude of the weight, the frequency of the wave, as well as a horizontal and vertical shifting. We play with its values in order to have a faithful representation of its outline. Then, for the label, we just used a horizontal line, setting the height in which the last equation ended. Next, for a tampering of the bottle, we use a polynomial function, because the shape of the bottle goes up and then goes gradually down. So the parameters that we use alter the point in which the graph touch the x-axis, its amplitude and its vertical shifting. Finally, for the cap of the bottle, we use another horizontal line, setting the height in which the last equation ended. Then, we use the disk formula, which is integral of pi times the square of our function, using the function as our infinitesimal radius. Therefore, calculating the volumes for each of the equations that we used, we calculate such volumes with the aid of two pieces of software, symbol f and Wolfram alpha. For our sinusoidal function, we used Wolfram alpha to calculate its volume. Due to the fact of its complexity, and the lack of knowledge that we have in order to calculate such volume and the integral of that function and due to the fact that it uses a very complex angle it's a very complex function so symbol lab couldn't handle such equation and we use Wolfram Alpha however Wolfram Alpha couldn't give us a step-by-step -step explanation of how to calculate it. Therefore, we just have the volume which is 311.81 cubic centimeters. For our next three functions, we still use symbol lab in order to standardize and get a more exact result of our volume. The first of the next following equations is our label section of the bottle which is just a horizontal function. The second one is our polynomial function, which we used for the tapering. This function could, could be done by hand. However, it's a long and extended process. So the aid from Symbol Lab helped us hugely in order to calculate this volume of the section of the bottle. For our last of these equations, we have our cap section of the bottle which is also a horizontal equation. Then we added those volumes, which were 311.81 cubic centimeters for the first section, which is from the base all the way up to the label. Then 142.07 cubic centimeters for the label. Then 108.99 cubic centimeters for the tapering and 7.1 cubic centimeters for the cap section. By adding them up, we ended up with a total volume of 569.79 cubic centimeters. Thanks for watching and we hope you learned something while watching our video.